Our top story tonight, the trial of a man accused of kidnapping and killing a Davenport girl three years ago is heading towards its conclusion. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Redrick Terry. I'm Paula Sands. Both the prosecution and defense rested their cases in the Henry Dinkins trial today. TV6's Jenna Jackson is outside the Scott County Courthouse right now with the latest on, uh, on this tonight. Jenna? Yeah, Paula Redrick, uh, as you mentioned, the state and defense both rested today, but before the defense rested, uh, they filed a motion for acquittal on both charges. This is customary. It happens almost all the time in trials like this. Now, the defense uh, saying that the state did not prove that Henry Dinkins committed first degree murder or first degree kidnapping, saying no reasonable jury would find him guilty of either of those charges. Also noting insufficient evidence like DNA, fingerprint or trace evidence tying Dinkins to the crimes. Now, during the state's rebuttal, however, the state asserted that while this case has a lot of circumstantial evidence, if you follow the chain of events that have been testified to, they prove Henry Dinkins did commit both of those charges. The state here highlighting video evidence, a video of Dinkins buying bleach at the Clinton Walmart, the soil samples from the remains site being similar to the ones found underneath his Impala, and the bullets found with the remains having similar characteristics to the test fired bullets from the gun found in the pond. Now, today was also the first time we heard this the state assert that Dinkins sexually assaulted Briasia prior to her murder. And um, the state asserts that Mr. Dinkins underestimated this child and realized that this child was not going to keep what happened between them a secret. And so therefore, that being said, he had to murder that child so nobody would know that he sexually abused that child. Now the judge sided with the state in that and denied the defense's um, uh, motion for acquittal. The defense then rested their case and did not offer any testimony from any witnesses. Henry Dinkins also did not testify on his own behalf. In Davenport, I'm Jenna Jackson, KWQC TV 6 News. All right, thank you, Jenna. Closing arguments start tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. As always, we are covering all of this trial in Scott County. You'll also find updates and a live feed on our TV 6 News app and website.